We have the power! Bitches leave. If I pitched to you an idea for a Superman movie that had a title that was like the most Supermanish you can get, like Superman, the Man of Steel. And I gave all this promise that this is gonna be this epic, amazing, tour de force, like Superman epic movie that you've never seen before. And then you go and you watch the movie. And in the opening five minutes, there's a huge fight between Superman and General Zod. And then both of them get banished to the Phantom Zone somehow. And you're like, whoa! Oh my God, what a way to open the movie. Then the movie continues, following Lois Lane, who incessantly bitches about how Clark Kent is such a piece of shit for not telling her that he was Superman. And then every other periphery character in the movie who is a dude essentially getting their nuts cut off and being an apologetic worm of a failure of a weak-willed, toffee-hearted wuss of a fucking character. I'm quoting uh, Long John Silver from Up at Treasure Island. Then, in the last five minutes, Superman comes back. Oh shit, Superman comes back. Fights for two seconds, becomes Clark Kent, and then gets stabbed with a kryptonite spear by Lex Luthor and dies, and that's the movie. That is essentially Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe. They made She-Ra for a reason, so that there could be some inclusivity in the same universe, okay? They did this back in the, in the 80s. Kevin Smith ought to be ashamed of himself. Looking at the trailer, just looking at the trailer, which, by the way, was loaded with He-Man and Skeletor. They took, like, virtually everything of He-Man and Skeletor that was in the goddamn show and presented it in this advertisement because they knew, they knew, they knew that it was a horrible idea. And ever since all the backlash on this, last I checked, it was at 32% fan score versus 94%. And Kevin Smith keeps touting the, look, look at the, look at Rotten Tomatoes, 94%. It's like, these are the woke ass critics. These are the critics who will not, who refuse, who will be blacklisted if they fucking actually criticize a woke movie. If it has representation, if it has a, 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 a lesbian black friend and all the white male characters are a complete piece of shit, they are like contractually not allowed to fucking criticize it. But that's not what makes you your money. That's not what earns your capital. What earns your capital is your fan base. On what planet did you think that you were going to take Masters of the Universe, suck the life and heart out of anything that it was just to make another limp dick fucking piece of crap that we've seen a million times before? Even if you wanted to do that, whatever. Hey, hey man, you know, it's your, it's your fucking thing. But the thing that people are pissed off about, the thing that irritates the shit out of people is that you lied. You lied. When something got leaked about He-Man stepping to the back burner, no, 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 no. Kevin, Kevin Smith denied everything and he blatantly, blatantly lied. I do not care for Kevin Smith. The reason why they keep taking classics and woking the shit out of them is because the name is going to reel people in. If they actually had to rely on their own <clears throat> creativity to create these stories with these horribly like obvious messages they would never make a dime on it you cannot tell people to look at a rotten tomato score you're not doing yourself any favors because everybody knows by this point if a movie has any type of a woke message rotten tomatoes is going to give it in the a range and when you look at the audience score it's going to be 50 something at the max, at the max, usually in the 30s. Case in point, Masters of the Universe. All right, that's all she wrote.